for this beautiful restored and then hand engraved vintage genuine Norland snake axe. I thought it would be a right thing to do and make a matching snake style handle. Using a wood burner I carefully burned scales on a nice occasion wood. One scale at a time. Once I'm done burning the scales and the outline of the snake, it's time to put surgical gloves on and stain the handle. Applying stain on a wood is very exciting. It reveals beautiful wood patterns and the grain of the wood. This process majestically transforms the wood piece. After a day or two, I got some free time to continue the work on the Norland snake axe and it's time to paint the snake. For my medium, I really enjoy working with oil paint. The flow and the texture of oil paint is really something I enjoy working with. Ah, look at this. The painting is done and it's ready to be stored away for several days until the oil paint is completely dry.
for such a beautiful Norland axe, I need to make a special leather sheath. This is a snake axe and the sheath needs to match the axe. Working with leather, you gotta have really sharp tools. Once you have sharp tools, it makes things a lot easier. After leather tooling was completed, I colored the leather and now I'm ready to install the rivets. <laughs> 